Hello students, welcome to Eternal Easy Education. In this session, you are going to learn Chapter 2, Adobe Page Maker. Content of the session is Text Block. Creating a text block, how to move a text block, how to split and rejoin it. We are going to learn these concepts in this video. Let's see what is given in your book regarding text block. A text block contains the text you type, paste or import. You can't see the borders of a text block until you select it with the pointer tool. You can create text blocks in two ways. Click or drag the text tool on the page or pasteboard and then type. Click a loaded text icon in an empty column or page. So now you are going to learn the two types or two ways. One is just clicking the tool and, dra and dragging and typing the text. Another one is how to load a text icon. I will explain in this video how to do this. First step is creating a text block with the text tool. It's very simple. Text tool is this. So we have to select the tool and we have to drag a rectangle or a square shape. Then in the empty area of or even we can type this in a page or pasteboard. What is pasteboard? Do you remember? This is the black border line. This place is said to be pasteboard. This page will not be come on, uh, this page will not come on the printout. So the black border page is the uh, real page where the content is going to be printed. This inner line is the margin space. So we will see in the page maker. This is your page maker window. So this black border is the page border. This area is the pasteboard area. So how to create a text block? Very simple. Click the text tool. Can you see the mouse? It looks like a line. If it is arrow means it will look like a arrow. So this is select tool. Now the T shape. This is said to be text tool. So click that. Press and drag the mouse. Here we can type a content you may think it is very small to view actually the size is 12 and the font type is times new roman so in the previous video you learned how to change the size and the font style how to do this take the same text tool click before or at the end I am clicking here, press and again you drag. The content is selected. Now you can increase the size and even you can change the font name. The, what we are seeing this is not the actual size. So, how to find out the actual size? What is the meaning of actual size? This page is actually fitted to the window size. So, the whole page is able to see in the window. Can you able to see the top and the bottom and the two side lines? So, this is said to be fit to window view. Now, click the view. Click actual size. So, this is the actual size of the letter which is going to be printed the same thing see i have clicked the select tool click on that text so whole whole text block is selected now press i am keeping the mouse on the text press and drag it will move so we can easily move the text whatever place we like the same thing can be done in this white place also. But the 
thing what we have to remember is what is typed in this place is will not come on the output but everything everything means the changes what we have done inside this margin place is applicable in this place also here also we can select here also we can change the size change the font anything we can do but the content is it will not come on the printout so it should be inside the page this is margin whatever here also will come on the print because this is the end of our edge of the paper we have to assume like that and we have to design so first one this is said to be the text block is it clear simply clicking the text tool uh, t and making a uh, shape in a rectangle or square by click press and drag okay so what is the concept of moving a text block to move a block without changing its shape place a cursor play uh, that means we want to change the text what to do place the cursor anywhere inside the block and click and drag it to the required position you know this select this tool we have done just before so this is said to be moving a text block actually these things you will do by by casually we will do just drag and you will type the content and click the arrow tool that is select tool and you will click the text and easily move but here it is given with a subtitle so you should know moving the text blocks means simple selecting the text block with the select tool and moving it to another place that is moving the text block is it clear then what is resizing when you select a text block with the pointer tool a block's boundaries become visible two handles are seen above and below the text block these handles are called window shades so remember to my question what is window shades so what is window shades two handles are seen above the text block these handles are called window shades there is a dark square on both ends this is the dark square this is the handle these are used to change the size of the text block click on the pointer tool they are selecting the text click either the left or right corner of the handle on the bottom of the text block and drag when you release the mouse button the text in the text block will reflow to fit the new size of the text block shall we check so resizing a text means this is a text click the select button and click on this if you move this it has to change here it is only one line so we are not able to see the uh, re, uh, size of the text rechanging in a uh, in a visible manner so how to do this just click the text tool drag a space or uh, space in the sense i am drawing a i am dragging the mouse to make the rectangle so i have copied a text instead of typing pasting like this can you see here actually the space we have drawn is very small because the content is more how i am saying this means can you see a red color handle here this shows that there is more text than the space so if i drag this it will show the other text that means the text which is in this paragraph so if i am changing the shape the text will adjust to the shape this is said to be resizing is it clear this is uh, this can be applied only if the text is more it is not applicable for a single line there won't be any change so see here so if the text block is like this it shows that there is some more 
text so if we drag the other text will come for display still there is a red color so i am uh, increasing this size so here there is no color click this i am just clicking the red, red color handle can you see this mouse has changed it shows that there is a text if i click the extra text or the overflow text is in a separate text block same that means this text block and this belongs to the same paragraph but when i make this red color click and clicked in another place then it forms the separating text this is splitting of the text i'll do it again how to join means simple if i click this to this n place and do you see the magic this is a text block think the size is like this what is the meaning here this text block is having more text than what is visible in the screen if i want to display all the text means i have to drag this until the red color disappears this shows that all the text are visible now sometimes it may be like this then i can split the text which is excess here in a another or to a another text block how to do this just click the red color handle the mouse is changed that shows that there is a text click here it forms a separate text block no i don't want a two text block i want to join it again means simple click here have this upper end and join with this it's not joining means no problem click the first one drag down this dot and this handle should be joined can you see this again it is joined i'll repeat it is having excess text click here click to another place it is here now it is three blocks i am joining this to this text block instead of typing i am pasting the text if the text is in this small box means it shows that there are some more text among this or inside the paragraph so if we want to split means click click down so it is splitted if we want to join again means just drag this it will join but this joining is possible only if the text is splitted from a same paragraph what is the meaning imagine that there is a text another text right okay there is another text how many text blocks are here here are actually 
वन टू थ्री टेक्स बॉक्सेस आर अवेलेबल I'm deleting one box. We'll have this alone. When I'll keep in the pasteboard. If this text is having more lines, just clicking, clicking down. This is splitting. Again, how to join this? Keep this line with this, and again you drag it. it will automatically join it okay so you understood what is splitting and what is rejoining suppose this is a text block it is having more text here also it is having more text but this two blocks will not join by means both the separated text can you see this it is not joining with this text because this text is different and this text is different we can join only the splitted text so if it is splitted means we can easily join it it will join but we cannot join a separate paragraphs which is in separate box so how to create a text how to move a text how to resize a text how to split and rejoin the text so these things are given here so try this in your system thank you have a good day so subscribe the channel if you like to see the upcoming videos